Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well and that you're having fun during the summertime and that the weather is nice where you're living because it's not very great where I'm living. It's been super gloomy and rainy. I don't know what's going on with the weather. I kind of want to escape the city and go somewhere. I don't know where. I guess Helge and I will plan something. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be a surprise for you guys. <laughs> it's a typical Friday today and Helge and I are just working today and we are currently planning for a very exciting campaign that we are going to be shooting later today i'm going to tell you guys more about it later but i am starving and i really wanted to make a new recipe and i know that you guys love when i share recipes so many of you guys have sent me the cottage cheese oat buns that i made in a couple of my videos it's so fun when you guys Guys recreate the recipes that I make in my videos so I'm gonna keep on doing some fun recipes and I recently came across a bread recipe that doesn't contain any flour or oats or yeast or anything I've been trying to minimize flour from my diet because I have some suspicion that I might be gluten intolerant or at least have some sensitivity so I'm just trying to you know find some alternatives and I really hope that this recipe is gonna be good because it's quite simple and it's healthy and it doesn't have to rise for like four hours or anything just mix everything together and put it in the oven for like 40 minutes so let's go and give it a try mixed all of the ingredients together and it's looking promising but guys a little pro tip for you i would recommend buying a bottle of egg whites i have never bought it before but i didn't realize how much egg whites i would need in this recipe i cracked open like eight eggs now I have this jar of egg yolks and I'm not sure what I can use them for. I guess I will just make a weird omelette or something. These are not going to waste, but it's, yeah, it's a bit annoying. So definitely next time, if this recipe turns out good, I'm gonna buy, you know, the bottles of egg whites. Anyways, now we just need to put the bread on a baking tray with some parchment paper. So the bread is now in the oven and it takes about 50 minutes, which is quite some time. So we need to be patient, but I'm so excited to taste it. But I just came into the bedroom to give Miss Matilda some cuddles. It's now her nap time. My little sweet girl. What do you want to say to our subscribers, Matilda? A quick word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform, so whether you're just starting out with a personal blog, you want to create an online portfolio, or you want to grow your business, Squarespace has all the tools to support you along the way. Squarespace makes the whole process of designing an aesthetic and functioning website so easy. You can play around with their beautiful pre-designed templates and completely customize it to your liking with the simple drag and drop feature. You can create a members-only area to connect with your audience and generate revenue through exclusive content like newsletters, behind-the-scenes videos, or even your own food recipes. Plus, Squarespace offers flexible payment options to ensure seamless checkout experiences for your customers. Head to the link down in the description box to create your own website today. You can save 10% of your purchase of a website or domain when you use my code BIRTALIN. 
If you watched my previous vlog, you probably saw I bought new bedding or sheets or whatever you want to call it. I honestly don't know the correct word for it, but I think... Is it covers? Okay, I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see better. So these are the sheets. Super happy with them. They're so cozy and pretty. I've gotten a lot of questions about them on my Instagram. And I bought them at Magazine du Nord, which is like a department store. But there is a little problem, which is annoying me a little bit. These are like the pillows. Do you notice anything weird about them? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm picky or something, but this annoys me because the stripes are the opposite ways. Doesn't make any sense because it doesn't look nice when you keep the pillows on the bed and it just looks weird. Okay guys, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> okay guys, I found out a solution. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so silly. Ta -da! <laughs> we were also certain that the colors weren't the same but honestly i think helgi and i were just tripping because to me <laughs> the colors seem identical helgi we just put the pillows in on the wrong way so oh. now they are the same and, and the it's color as well the color is the same okay, what? i'm gonna do my makeup and guys, I got such a beautiful gift from a girl that owns a small brand called Amity. And look, it's so fluffy and so soft. And look at the details. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna link her Instagram on the screen. And look at the details inside. I mean, like, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna pin my hair back. To tell you guys a bit about the campaign we are shooting today, we are doing a collaboration with Canon. I know, I cannot believe it myself. I'm so honored. And we are collaborating on Instagram and TikTok, mostly Instagram, but it's like a summer campaign and I am going to be promoting two of their cameras which is insane. So we are going to the city center to shoot the content. We have already picked the location. So that's super exciting. I don't know why Matilda is, she's like meow, meow. Mata, come and say hi. Come and say hi to our, our subscribers. She's there. Oh my God, she like almost never comes when I ask her to come. <laughs> Here she is! Oh my goodness! Oh, she's so beautiful! She usually always sits in our windowsill and just looks outside the window. And that's what she's doing now, looking at the birds. Here. My little cutie. I think I put a bit too much of the bronzing drops because look at my hairline! <laughs> my best friend that's also from Iceland, but she's been living in Copenhagen for the past three years. She is finishing her studies and she is moving away from Copenhagen. And I just started thinking how it's gonna be when she's gone. And it honestly kind of made me realize that I don't really have so many close friends around me here in Copenhagen. Helge is of course my best friend and I could spend every single day with him and have so much fun with him, but it is healthy and important to have, you know, other friends. I do have quite a bit of friends in Copenhagen, but I've just realized that I'm not very close with them. I'm mostly, you know, hanging out with them through like this industry, the influencer industry. I meet them when I'm going to events or I could grab like a cup of coffee with someone, but I 
definitely could have made more effort into getting to know them better but at the time i had like two of my best friends from iceland living in copenhagen one of them has already moved from copenhagen and now the second one is about to move i guess that's why i maybe like didn't make the effort into becoming super close with someone because i already had that with my other friends and also one thing that i've noticed in my family is is that we tend to be kind of a homebody you know you like to spend time at home with your family or your closest ones and you maybe don't let people in I don't know so that's kind of been the last couple of years I've been you know hanging out with people and meeting new people and everything but I haven't gotten to know them on a deeper level if you know what I mean this is definitely something that I want to work on because I am not very sure if I want to move back home to Iceland and I can't really, you know, rely on my friends there. So I will definitely have to make more effort into growing my friendships here in Copenhagen. But actually last year I met with a girl for the very first time at a cafe but she's Icelandic, her name is Mahdea you guys probably know her from a couple of my videos she was visiting Copenhagen and we met for a cup of coffee and I don't know, we somehow immediately clicked and it's so funny because I think we met maybe two or three times before we went together to Budapest where we stayed in the same room, in the same bed and everything <laughs> and it just shows like how quickly we just became close and I don't know if it has also something to do with the fact that we can speak our mother tongue together there's something you know about when you can just be fully yourself like supernatural you don't really have to like think in your brain like how to say specific words like I'm currently doing English is not my first language even though I really appreciate every single one of you who is complimenting my English I really appreciate it and I'm so happy that I can help some of you guys to learn English. I am not gonna bore you guys more with this friendship talk. I just, you know, wanted to tell you guys about it if anyone can relate. It's also just, you know, when you are in a relationship. I know that many people experience the phase where you're just super in love and you get you become like this bubble and you just want to be with your partner like 24/7. To be honest, I'm not saying that we're still in this phase. You know, I just feel so good around Helge and we are so happy together that honestly just kind of fills up my tank and you know I can talk with him about all of my problems and he's the best listener and we always just have the best time so that's also probably one of the reasons why I haven't been making an effort to hang out with my friends but I'm definitely not happy about it because I want to grow my friendships and you know, have strong relationships with my girlfriends because they mean so much to me and I have already met so many amazing people here in Copenhagen and all of the people that I've hung out with, you know, I should just, you know, make more effort to get to know them better. I recently got a new blush from a Danish brand called Tromborg. It's so gorgeous, the packaging. And it's in the color Coral. I thought I should give it a try because you guys know I love my blush. Ooh, okay. It's definitely my color immediately. It's a yes for me. This is definitely like my favorite type of color to put on my cheeks. It's just perfect. I'm thinking about making an Instagram reel when I'm getting dressed. I really want to get back into the game on Instagram. I'm very consistent posting, you know, normal pictures, but I haven't been posting any reels and I really want to get back into it. So I thought, why not make it today? So I won't show you guys the process on this camera, but I'm gonna insert the video here so you guys can see how the reel turned out 
and I would be so grateful if you guys would give me a follow on Instagram. It would mean a lot to me. So I have filmed the video and I am so, so hungry. And Helgi just made us some breakfast with the bread, of course. The bread is here and <laughs> I mean, I think it's a good sign that it's more crusty instead of mushy. So let's hope it's gonna taste good. What Helgi made for us are some eggs. It's not a sunny side up because he also flips them for me at least because I find it a bit yucky, <laughs> you know, the, the yolk with the gooey things. And some cottage cheese and cooked spinach. This is honestly so, so good, but we've been eating it the last couple of days and we felt like this wasn't like filling enough. So that's why I wanted to make the bread to get a bit more full and you know, to get some fiber and some nutrients. So I think it's gonna be like the perfect combination. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to do a taste test. Mm. It's very good. It definitely doesn't taste anything like regular bread. It's more like rye bread, rupel, like we call it here in Denmark. You can definitely feel that it's healthy, but I'm not complaining. I think it's pretty good. Mm. Helge is not a big fan of rubre, so let's see what he thinks. Mm. This is way better than rye bread. Mm. <laughs> Yummy! So guys, now we are heading out and we are gonna shoot the content. We have the props with us. And just a quick outfit check. <laughs> Super cute. So guys, we are back home and the shoot went really well. We got some really nice content, even though it was a little bit windy and I was a bit cold, to be honest. I'm like waiting for the summer heat to kick in here in Copenhagen. It is very frustrating because I want to spend all day out in the sun and it's just not happening. So fingers crossed it's gonna happen, but we are very hungry. We didn't eat anything while we did the shoot and it took a few hours and we have some leftover salad here. It's like a Mediterranean inspired salad with some quinoa, chickpeas, feta, lots of veggies and stuff. And it's really, really good. 